they gonna be a thing. They gonna get it on. They gonna be a thing. Do 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 do. do. Here we are. Yeah, that doesn't look, uh, this doesn't look like fun. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No First. problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. Okay. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You got this, Allison. We got this. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. I don't especially blame you. after. You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror in their own thing. Oh, what? Monkey see? Monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Our mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom? Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I can walk all the way over the... Ah. Most parents are scared of losing their kids. Crooked tree. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. Not this one. That one says Phillips. Here lies no Robin nice. Becker. Alright. What do you want to best this one right here? De Leon. Yep. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. <sighs> Dave, you know, I barely remember it. That's probably. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Huh? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. No clue where I'm going. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Allison, please. I'm not going. Allison, come back. 
Standing right here, I was gonna say. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. No, you're gonna shut you up. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Oh. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back. But I'm gonna come see you at Tyler promised her to soon, alright? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Good. About to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe you think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy Owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. Definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Ty. This this is it. Right. Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? She's gotta be here somewhere. But not this one. Still not the one. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. There is Marianne Ronan. Expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on her mother. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. Why? She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was steal Wait, what? than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. Oh. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men. <gasps> Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. Tell us the truth. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. You could have done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Facts. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Facts. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I prayed for guidance, and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. Yeah, we kind of, uh... I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Kind of fucked up everyone's life. her I think she regrets what she did but I, I totally understand if you don't want to see her anymore it's your call I'm all about I'm, you know what I'm I've been all about forgiving people and turning the other like cheek basically this whole entire time I gotta go with it I'm done losing people I'm done with it all right we lost mom we're not losing anyone else done not losing you I'm done losing people and if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. 
I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Okay. Free lunch sounds good. There are going to be coconut cake on the menu? Rawr. You know, I think there just might be. Hey. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Coconut cake. Coconut cake. Coconut cake.